I am back today. I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for the Kerbal Space Program. So, now uh, the best way to show you this is obviously explain every single thing that can possibly go wrong. So let's just uh, load up my AMG tutorials. And Dennis sent me actually a while back in uh, terms of a ship that he wanted me to test out and maybe take a look at how we can send it more efficiently to space. So let's load up his actual crane, and you'll see it pops up that I need a crap load of mods for this thing. So. A few things now we will do in terms of installing the mod. So obviously the moment you'll know that you need a mod, that screen will pop up that I just showed you. Let's just reload that. You'll get this blue screen. Now, uh, the moment the screen pops up, so what you're going to do is you're going to have to quit the game and go to your Windows. And let's continue from there. Once you're on your Windows, what you're going to have to do, of course, is go to your location of KSP. Now, there's two ways. One, if you download KSP off your website, <coughs> then you're just going to have your KSP folder on your local hard disk. That means, let's say, D drive, and you'll probably have, let's say, whatever, KSP folder on your D drive or something. And if you have it on Steam, uh, then you're going to have to go to your Steam folder, which is Programs 86. You're going to go to, wait, hold on. Did I go to the right one? Yeah, Programs 86, yeah, Steam. Then you go to Steam Apps, and then you go to Common, and then here you have your actual folders. Let's just delete this. So I'll redo it again. So you're going to find your Kerbal Space Program and all the other games that you have on Steam. So what you're going to do, firstly, is copy your game. Now, the difference is with the Steam version, uh, this is the way I do it, of course. You don't have to do it this way. This is the way I do it so I can have, uh, so I can have it organized. I, I like to keep two separate copies. Uh, so either one you can install directly the mods into the actual original one or what I like to do is I make I make a duplicate of it So what I'm gonna do is and the same thing applies for the non steam version So if you have it on the D drive you just right-click copy it and Paste it. Hold on. No. Right-click copy the thing and then paste it and it'll make a space program copy now what I'm gonna do is uh, the, the thing is with Steam, if if I make, uh, if I create the copy the Kerbal Space Program directory and then I throw it anywhere else on my computer and then I run the Kerbal Space Program from another location anywhere, let's say I don't know C drive, I copy it there and I run it from there, it'll still always run my Steam version, which is in the Steam directory, which is here. I hope that makes sense. No matter where you copy this duplicate and stick it anywhere on your hard disk and you run this duplicate, which is somewhere else. It'll always still run the Kerbal Space Program from the actual Steam directory, so keep that in mind. So really, don't don't bother copying it anywhere else. If you have Steam version, make sure you make a duplicate in the directory. So what I like to do is, this was the original, right? So what I like to do is, I like to call it vanilla. Okay, that's original. It's uh, I don't know wh wh how this term got born. It either it was from Jagged Alliance or what, but vanilla means the original game, and this one I'll call it mods. Okay. Now, so now I know that this is my mod, the mods uh, Kerbal Space Program version. Now, in case you had it on, uh, in case you don't have it through Steam, in case you have it on your local directory, it means you either copy and paste the same thing you have a copy, and then you just change the names as I showed you. And that's uh, pretty uh, much it to get it done. And in case you don't want to have two different copies because you don't have a hard disk and you don't really want to play the vanilla, then you just uh, don't do this step and you go to what I'm going to do now. Next thing, you're going to need to go to your, uh, what do you call it? You're going to need to go to your uh, mods, uh, the mods that you have downloaded. Now, Dennis was kind enough and he sent me all the mods that he wanted me to do to, to actually take a look at a ship, which I'm going to do later on, actually, probably today. So... Next thing, you're going to download the mods that you want to use. Let's just close all this stuff. And here are the mods that I want to use. I have the laser one, I have the flax planting one, I have the uh, map sat thing, I have the base kit, blah, 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 blah. So let's open up back my directory. Let's make it like this. It'll be much easier. Uh, let's go back to D drive. Where was it? That. Steam. And Steam apps. And then common. And then let's open up my mods. So. For example, let's install our laser docking. So let's open up my laser docking. Don't ask, just open the damn thing. Okay, here's my laser docking. Open up the laser docking and see the directories. You have parts, plugins, and uh, part plugin data and plugins. So first thing you're gonna look at the directories. You notice we have the parts, plugins, and uh, plugin data and plugins. So what you're gonna do is open up the parts, copy all the parts, and of course you stick the parts in the parts. Okay. Replace the files with the destination file. So now if we open up the parts, we should have docking port 1, docking port 2, docking port 3. Okay? And now the next thing what you're going to do is open up your data plugin, copy the ROM far into the data plugin. Okay? 
then you're gonna go to your uh, plugins directory and you're gonna copy the DL file into the plugins directory now not not all mods obviously have the exact same fo files and folders that you need for example this one is still also it has the same so let's open up the parts we copy all the parts into the parts okay then we go to the plugin data we copy the plugin data file into the plugin data and we copy the plugins the plugins to that okay now uh, generally I'm not sure because the thing is I think this was co I copied actually my my mod directory generally sometimes when you open up your uh, for example plugin you, you'll open it up and then you realize you don't have anything else so for example if I opened up what did I open up now I open up the basket inflatable module the well the inflatable module is this uh, sort of you can say the the inf inflatable capsules so obviously this is a part so obviously it won't have a parts directory so logically obviously I gotta copy this directly into the parts and if you're not sure where to where, where to copy it, then just open up open it up take a look at what is the, what are the end extensions and then go to the directory I know it's a part so let's go to the end extensions and you see it pretty pretty much has the same extensions as one of the parts so then I know I gotta copy the basketball inflatable module into the parts directory just to break it down now again some parts if you go to the to the main directory of the Kerbal Space Program some parts they might have a directory a main directory okay for example they might have you have the parts directory here let's say you have the plugin data and you have the plugins it, it happened I'm not sure I think the plugin data by default isn't there so if, if you see you have a directory that's not there okay then just copy it and create that directory within the main directory of the game I hope that makes sense okay and uh, that's pretty much it then you load the game of course uh, instead of it loading for five minutes it load for ten bloody minutes because it has to load all the components and you're out now the advantage one more thing before you do that the advantage of it having double double copies is that I don't mix it up with my default game and with my mods game so if I want to run my mods all I got to do is remove the mod extension and then I run the Kerbal Space Program. I run this one, it doesn't matter. It'll automatically run the... You know. And if I want to run back my stock, so what I do is I make this mods, and then I open this, and then I remove this, and now it'll run my stock game. So anyways, I don't want to play my stock game, vanilla. I want to play my mods game. And now the, this, the same principle applies for you guys that don't have it on Steam. The only difference is when you don't have it on Steam, you can have obviously your your mods directory anywhere because it's not linked to your actual uh, location. Steam obviously always loads it from this location. Common, you gotta have it in this location. That's the only difference for guys without Steam and guys with Steam. Okay, so this was my mods one. So let's remove the extension, and now let me run the game, and I'll see you guys in the game, and I'll show you how long it takes to load. So here we are on the actual loading screen, and as you see, look, it's loading. It's loading the mods, and if you do look closely, it's actually loading the mods, and look how long this thing will take. This thing will take for freaking ever to load. You know, it's just, it's going to take forever, because it's loading all the bloody components. So, why don't we fast forward this? And there we go. And two hours later, no, I'm kidding. It's more like three minutes later, finally loads all the mods. And if I actually, uh, you see it already loaded one of the uh, Cosmos save things. And if I actually decide to, uh, you already have, you already see, you already have some of these new components within the actual pods. You already have this one, MegJab modules. You, you'll realize that all most of the parts are already here. You see there's already parts being loaded here, and you just see all, all the new parts being loaded within. So you know the mods is working, so why don't we just load uh, Dennis's uh, <coughs> pretty, pretty cool uh, crane to help construction of ships. And here we go. Let's close all the stuff, and here's this wonderful crane, and you see all, all is working fine. All is loaded, and this is it in terms of loading up your mods. Really, really nice design, Dennis. I really like your crane. It looks really cool. And uh, <coughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys around. And Dennis, I will make your tutorial actually a little bit help video in terms of how to get your thing a little bit uh, into space a little bit more efficiently. So happy gaming. Bye.